So today we're going to talk a little bit about decoding uh, a 2 by 2 Hill cipher. Um, the basic process is very similar to when we encode it. It's basically used instead of the key to multiply by a plain text, you use the inverse of the key to multiply by the cipher text to get your plain text. However, the uh, procedure to get your inverse of the key uh, is a little less straightforward than, you know, just having an encoding key that you can directly use. So we're going to talk about that today. In order to talk about the inverse of a key, we have to know two very important topics in matrix math. One is called the adjoint and the other is called the determinant. So the adjoint is a matrix that you can get by flipping the position of A and D here shown, uh, here shown in a 2 by 2 matrix and then putting negative signs uh, in front of B and C. Uh, and the determinant is a number you can get out of your original matrix um, by taking the difference between A and D, the two across from each other, and B and C as shown here. So keep in mind that a joint is a matrix and the determinant is a number. So with that said, if you have a given key and you want to take the inverse, you are going to multiply the adjoint by the inverse of the determinant. So it's going to be 1 over um, this difference. So in which case, if you found out a determinant to be 21, then we need to mul multiply by the adjoint as the number 5. So here's an example. Let's try it out. We're going to find the inverse of 2, 5, 7, 4. So let's start with finding the adjoint of the matrix. 7, 4. So as we know, that's going to be, we're going to flip the position of the 2 and the 4. 4 is here, 2 is here. And then we're going to put negative signs in front of the 5 and the 7. And boom, that's your adjoint. And then let's move on to the determinant. So these two lines here are the symbol for uh, finding the determinant of, they're almost like absolute values of a matrix. I kind of think about it like that, but you know. Anywho, um, and that's going to be 4 times 2 minus 7 times 5. That's going to give us negative 8, 35, negative 27. So in this case, when you see negative numbers, you can transfer them back into a va valid number in mod 26 already. So I'm going to do that right now. So 4, 21, 19, 2. The negative 27 is 25 in mod 26. So, okay. So now we need to take the inverse of 25 in mod 26. And we know that the inverse of 25 is just 25 itself. So, there's that. Okay, and then the next step, I'm just going to put key inverse here. We're going to multiply this 25. Note that this is the inverse of this value. So it's going to be 25 times 4, 21, 19, 2. And if you know your matrix math, we know that if we multiply a matrix by a constant, we're just going to multiply every single number in this matrix by this constant. So that's going to give us 100 one times 25, 525, uh -uh. 19 times 25 is 475. And this is going to be 50. All right. And then we're going to transfer that back into mod 26. So 100 is going to give us 22. 525, you can see that there's a 520 in there. We can take right out because that's a uh, multiplication that's divisible by 26. So after that, it's going to be just 5. Um, 475, you can do it. Um, however you want. So 475 divided by 26 and then minus whatever value, then multiply it by 26 again. 
that'll give us 7, and then 50 is 24. And bam! That's your inverse of the matrix 2574.